Hello everyone, it's Rad. Welcome to Rad Gutaro channel and uh, <clears throat> this video is going to contain a, a general tarot reading and for that reason, as general tarot reading, the reading itself is going to relate to different subjects and situations and is going to manifest itself in a different way with every single different person. Now, in case uh, you are interested to know about specifically about your personal situation, uh, you can check out my website, uh, which is listed here in the display, or it is as well shown in the description of the video. And there you are going to find, visiting it, you are going to find on the very front page, full list of my services, as well as their pricing, starting from just as little as $12 for the recorded readings and uh, $15 for the private call readings. Apart from that, if you want to see me live or, you know, you want to contribute with an event on me, you can check out my Facebook page, which as well you can see here on the video or in the description down below and consider sharing and subscribing the video because this is a one-man operation and it, you, your, your support does uh, helps a lot. That being said, uh, I want you now to lay back comfortably and enjoy the show. All right. So this is going to be a, a Capricorn Sun, Capricorn Moon, and uh, Capricorn Rising weekly tarot reading for July 22nd to uh, July 28th, 2019. And uh, bear with me a second, guys, to shuffle the, uh, the tarot cards. And we can jump straight away to the reading. All right, so the first card, which stands for the topic of Capricorn week, this is going to be the Two of Pentacles, followed by the third, the second card, which stands for the challenges that Capricorn needs to face and stand against. Here we do have the Fool card. Then the third card, which represents the positive aspect of the week, this is going to be the Ace of Wands. And the last card, which regards to the guidance the Tarot is offering to you, Capricorn, this is going to be the Hierophant card. So, <clears throat> just from the looks of it, uh, that week is going to be somewhat exciting, okay? In a sense of that there are going to be many enterprises coming around. And uh, how do you say it in English, guys, when those enterprises doesn't really have that big of an impact upon your um, upon your grand scheme of things or upon a future progress they are just there for you to enjoy so it's like enjoyable enterprises which are there for you to kind of like uh, make you feel better but out of it not much really is going to come out of so it's kind of like a, a week where you can relieve yourself from a, a certain pressure or <clears throat> you know a, a certain poignant experience but before we scrutinize the reading let's run the cards one more time so the first one here it is the two of pentacles followed by the second card which stands for the challenges here that is to be the full card then what we do have it is the positive aspect which is going to be the um, ace of cups and the last one, which regards to the to, uh, to the guidance here, it's going to be the Hierophant card. So the Two of Pentacles, well, basically the Two of Pentacles um, points that throughout the week you are going to deal with a lot of things. Um, and these things are not going to be as important as, not as, as, would, as you would have liked, but not as, uh, as important as the things that you have deal up until this very moment. So let's say that you are gonna have a lot of acti activities, a lot of dynamics, and it is up to you should you decide to take a participation into them or should you not take a participation into them. Into them. Although the Two of Pentacles urges you to be somewhat adaptable, uh, agile as well, and is going to benefit you a lot if you let go of fixed ideas and fixed plans as well okay so throughout the, throughout the week itself at the very start of it for example tomorrow which is say a monday you may have a certain plan for the week itself and this plan is not going to look 
like nothing that was in Monday when you embark Tuesday. Tuesday because so many things happened at Monday that this plan that you are that you have structured it's it's no longer achievable or executable to be said. The accompanied card here is going to be the Page of Swords formation. It is a, a passive enemies that we do have. So you are to face that thing with a bit of aggravation, okay? Maybe because you are a meticulous person and you don't like to have a a, a change in a very last moment, all right? Or a change of plans in a very last moment. Probably you do want to be consistent and systematic and so on and so forth. Well, if you are such a person, unfortunately, this is not the week where you are going to feel like, you know, or that you are to be in such a, in an environment. But that doesn't mean that just, because, uh, that just because the environment itself is in flux, there are to be things which are going to uh, act in your disadvantage or is going to make you feel bad. Uh, for that reason, we do have the second card here, which represents the challenges, and that is to be the four card. So the full card, it's, uh, it's, it will be challenging for you to approach all these um, trifling enterprises, is how I'm going to name them, with a, a, a huge amount of portion of, a, uh, of detachment and care for you. So just, just enjoy. That, that will be the thing, all right? Do not be biased. Do not be premeditated. Do not concern yourself what could come out of it. It's just enjoy the moment. That will be the challenge for you guys throughout the week, Capricorns. So, for example, if uh, because I do have a very good friend, Capricorn, and I know that yesterday they, was on a, they were on a pool with the family, all right? So, if that happens throughout the week, just enjoy it, you know? Do not concern yourself that you're wasting time with it. It's, it's a good time that you do have or productive that you're wasting productive time uh, because of it. But instead of producing productive time, you do have a good time. So, yeah, enjoy. Just enjoy the moments. And uh, the other challenge that you are going to have is that you are going to. Well, that, that is one side to see it. To, you are to think that you're wasting your time with those enterprises, meaning that the full here points that you, will, that you will see that nothing is going to come out of it in the long run. But just because there won't be any repercussions in the, long, in the long run from those enterprises, that doesn't mean that you can't, like I said, you know, enjoy them and have a good time along the way throughout the week. So uh, just to summarize all that, Capricorns, it seems this week you will have an opportunity to have really, really good time with different people, different enterprises, you know, and the different undertakings as well. So just enjoy them, guys. There is no point being... Um, how, how do you say it? so moody when you think of that these enterprises are not altering your situation in a dramatic way. The accompanied card here is going to be the judgment and that is just a confirmation to the full. Now the uh, formation, it is a active friends. And one more thing I want to say, the judgment puts a slightly more morbid um, interpretation because one of those enterprises may seem very promising while it may it is going to turn out not that promising it's just it is for example you have someone that you like they invite you in a dinner and you you start thinking of that this is a date well sometimes dinner is just a dinner you know it's nothing more than that or someone wants your company that you like you know and you think that this is going to be a date sometimes you know uh, being requested for to be a company it is just a request for a company and nothing more so do not uh, escalate the uh, your perception of what you have been asked of and try to maintain objectivity and assume you know that everything could happen out of it and just be you know unpremeditated just be carefree and detach from the one seriousness and uh, yeah, it's one seriousness of the situation itself. So that leads us, Capricorns, to the uh, third card, which represents the positive aspect, and that is going to be the Ace of Cups. Needless to say, this is a very positive card. You are going to have such a uh, delight when you um, 
give yourself into those um, trifling enterprises, all right? It's like you are gonna forget the troubles into your career or the troubles into your marriage and uh, it simply is gonna overflow your heart with joy and when you look at your daily routine through that overflowing joy, nothing is gonna seem the same. It's, in, in other words, those many trifling enterprises are going to transcend your daily reality, transforming it into something much more bearable. Just to give you an example, let's say that you do have really a rough time career, but <clears throat> outside of your career, those enterprises are gonna make your life really, really col colorful with these pleasant colors, in fact. And to a point where you will not gonna be that concerned, you know, how oppressed you are at your career place, because there is a counterbalance from the other side of the spectrum here. The accompanied card of the Ace of Cups, this is going to be uh, the uh, Chariot card. And on top of that, your belief, your clamor, it's not belief, but rather clamor, for that uh, things are going to change for the better is going to exponentially amplify, seeing that happiness does not reside only in one direction. Happiness does appear in many different gazes, you know, and if you're not happy into your career, well, you can be happy elsewhere, you know, you can't have it all, that's the point here. And Or if you're not happy into your marriage, you can have a good time into your career as well. So one, once again, you know, one cannot have it all. And also these couple of cards here are pointing that your uh, emotional stability is going to be maintained throughout the week. Not to mention that with these couple of cards as a, a conjunction here, um, your determination is going to be recharged, uh, replenished, refilled. I don't know how to say it really. So it, it looks like that you ain't gonna lose that momentum you do have over determination to improve drastically your personal circumstances, either regarding career or either regarding into a relationship. And uh, lastly, we do have the, uh, the guidance card, which is the Hierophant. And I need one more card just so I see what the Hierophant is all about. And that will be the Seven of Swords. Formation, a passive uh, passive enemies is that we do have and it's basically these couple of cards are urging you not to be selfish, all right? And if you do have a good fortune somewhere, share it with those who want that good fortune to be shared. For example, you know, you are well established into your career and there is a colleague of yours there which is kind of slumbered, uh, smothered beneath all, uh, have a rough time or share your good fortune with them, help them, you know, consult them, give your benevolent support to those people which they which need that benevolent support for a benevolent support is going to be returned to you as well. It's just this, uh, this, this here is the game of giving and taking how and it how the world the world is working, but also it is the the mastery of this game is to recognize who is willing to play it with you. You know you cannot make someone to play it with you if they don't want to. So that being said, if you give love to someone, if they don't want to play the game with you, they're gonna give love back. All right. So it's also about recognition, and for that reason. With these couple of cards not being selfish and stubborn and also being open for honest conversations, you are to see that the majority of your issues that you are facing or basically those kind of issues which are addressing to your happiness, which are making you feel poignant or despondent, you know, can be addressed very well in the framework of already existing convictions that you and the people around you share. And for that, and following up that, you very well be could be able to know who your friends are, who the real people which are to support you and which deserve your good fortune to be shared with are, um, are around, so who those people are. So that being said, Capricorn, this was your weekly tarot reading. Not, not a major week, guys. Just have fun. It's basically what the card said. And do not think too much about what could happen tomorrow. Because tomorrow is going to be a different day from today. And trying to... Uh, <clears throat> and um, yesterday is just yesterday, you know. Trying to recapture it. It's only thing that is going to make you lose. It's tomorrow, which is a, a big thing. 
So yeah, that being said, this was your weekly tarot reading. I hope you enjoyed it and you liked it, and we are going to see each other around. Until then, bye.